was working. I spent 30 minutes figuring around it yesterday trying to get it set up properly. Worked first time today. Oh, no, we're not making a new game here. We're loading a new game. Just before stream started, I was screwing around in Headmark, having a lot of fun. Um, I'm trying to have a Norse Muslim game. Not sure how well it's going to go. Um, but that's not what we're here for. We're trying to finish our SPQR achievements. Maybe get a couple of Jew achievements in there. And world dom and fight off the Aztecs. That's the goal. I actually got to start thinking about my succession here. Because uh, it is almost game over. Right? Um, I'm getting on in years. I must be over 50. I'm 50 exactly. Okay, looks like we just shut our gates. Let's check where all my courts at. He is in Zaragoza to improve diplomatic relations. That's right. We were having a weird bug yesterday, which is probably still happening, where Hispania counts as abroad. And you see that little one in the parentheses? I'm pretty sure it counts him. He, he is in no location. He is in no location. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. So he counts as abroad. I've got a feeling that this is a hermetic society bug. That maybe he like got sent overseas to whatever raid a, some guy's laboratory or something like that. You know what I mean? And got stuck there. Anyway, we're trying to plot to kill him right now and not having luck picking people up. Uh, we're making a guess right now about um, the people in his court, right? Whereby, I mean, some of these have got to be like Emir of Castile will probably never turn on his father, right? Loves his dad. Loves him. Um, in fact, because this guy has crushed so many major revolts, I don't think we're going to get very many people to flip anyway. But... Some might. She would. She would. Very disappointed. I doubt that we're going to be able to kill this guy. As long as our wife survives, though, we're going to be gold. No, I think she's sick or something. She's depressed. I don't have the ingredients to make her a potion turn those things on right now it really bothers me that, this, that these don't auto turn on every time you load into a save so many things persist between games but not that it's kind of nonsense ah oh, hospital in constantinople is growing i'm one over my vast limit so let's fix that real quick let's look at all my vassals and sort them lowest to highest by rank and see what kind of little nonces we got the Earl of Vass who's got claims on Lithuania and Poland either one of those pressable probably not I imagine not should try and kill this guy 74% at least Let's see how that works out. If we can kill the king of Poland, his son inherits, and I might be able to press this guy's claim on all of Lithuania. That would be money. Wait, am I looking at the right thing? Here's the king of Poland. I see it. No, that's the king of Poland. I'm looking at some random count. Oh man, that's not the plot that I want. Let's stop that. It's this guy I should be looking at. So our chance to kill him, much higher. Our chance to kill him, much lower. And then what? Then we just hope there's a civil war, hey? How many people are going to have claims in that event? Is he elective? No, he's gavel kind. Hey, Ikiji, how you doing? Um, well, you know what? Let's, let's plot to kill him anyway. Just see what happens. Shake Lithuania up a little bit. Wait, that's crazy. 
I have people in oh I think I banished her pretty sure I banished her anyway that attractive really give me lots and lots of people when I get in on this plot that should fire pretty quick now I need to think Ooh, let me turn my sounds up actually you're doing good hey eh? I'm doing okay got some stuff done outside today Let's crank the music up a little bit there. And let's adjust it in our sound settings here. Uh, put that up one. That should be nice, I think. Um, yeah, I got some stuff done outside. So that's looking good. What other kind of random counts have I got kicking around? Looks like Tuscany here is loose. She's direct under me. We don't really need her. Let's give her to Italy. He'll be happy with that, won't he? Amalfi, Wiltshire, Vass. Wait a second. Why can't I give Tuscany to Italy? Duchess of Tuscany, Duchess of Croatia. Okay. This guy is the king of Pannonia and Croatia. Can I give Tuscany to him? Nope. So that doesn't make any sense. Earl of Wiltshire is loose though. That guy we can give away to somebody. Pop him there under Hawaii's and they're looking good. Man, my internal borders are a mess. But I don't think they're drifting too much. Let's look at the du jour duchies. This all seems normal. Doesn't look like there's been any duchy drift. Lots of kingdom drift happening now. Everything incorporating into the Roman Empire now that I broke the HRE. Aquitaine won't for a minute there. Because, uh... I have restricted de jure drift on. So I think what we do next is... Maybe chunk Bohemia? I'm not really looking forward to that because so much of Bohemia is in deep here. Although it's not spread out nearly as much as Sweden was. Of course, the other disadvantage is that I can't use boats as well as I could before. This is interesting. Scania is independent. I can trib him. Sweden is Catholic. This guy looks like he's in my territory. Yeah, he's under Pomerania. So can I declare war and press his claim on all of Sweden? No, of course I can't. That doesn't make any friggin' sense. Why would I be able to do that? What if I retracted him from Pannonia? I want to retract a vassal from you. I want that count. I don't see him. What was he the count of? He was the count of La... Lawsits. I don't remember what it was the count of. Oh, the count of lawsuits, that's right. It's under the king of, oh, Pomerania, not Pannonia. Okay, let's retract the vassalage from you. I want this guy. Ah, breach of feudal contract. I really don't want minus 10 with everybody. 
Let's check what my tech is at. We're getting pretty close to Majesty. Also, didn't you want to conquer Norway? Is there a reason you don't use Viceroys? Yeah, I don't use Viceroys because we're missing the tech. I don't have Imperial Administration. Something happened in the Byzantine Empire where they kind of half had it. There was a bit of a bug. Um, they were on late feudal administration instead of imperial administration, but some of the vassals still acted as though I had imperial administration. Um, but I couldn't handle any vice royalties. I definitely prefer vice royalties, and I'm going to fight a huge civil war coming up to change that over. Um, I am probably going to want a religion shift before that. I guess I can religion shift any time, hey? I've recreated the Roman Empire now. Do I have kids? Oh, I've got loads of kids. This guy's even seven. Let's see if there are any Jews in my realm. Let's go not my religion. Uh, oh, yeah, there's loads. Let's hit yes. Any of these Jews come and join my court? No, none of them will. Okay. Let's go any. And just look if we can buy any of these guys. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to look at Norway. I'll check that out in a second. You said you wanted to become the Persian Messiah. I do, but I figure I'm pretty close to uh, like forming the Kingdom of Israel. That maybe we'll go Jewish. We could go Zoroastrian. Let's have a look at all the Catholics in the world first. Because I don't think the Pope will give me claims if I'm not Catholic. You know what I'm saying? So... This guy's Catholic. We could get a claim on his title. But that's only one piece of territory. Right here. That's all I get out of that. Because the rest, I think, is owned by Lithuania. That's right. You said you could go Jewish, form Israel, and then go Zoroaster to course. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So I think I spend a generation Jewish. And then I spend a generation Zoroastrian. And once I'm Zoroastrian, I lose the benefit of my... I mean, I might just stay Jewish. Who knows? I might go Zoroastrian, become the Seoshant, and then give it up and go back to Jewish. Because I am going to have the Ark of the Covenant. So I can get one little duchy here. Am I... Do I have a truce with this one? Looks like that. Yeah, it looks like I have a truce with Bulgaria for 10 friggin' years. I'm wondering if we can murder Hobo this one too. 133. Let's see what happens with Lithuania. Nah. Let's go right to her. And leave that's where it's at. Now, Norway. The Duke of Moldu, that's right, I just landed this guy. So that's a no-brainer. That's what we fight next. Thank you for that reminder. It's kind of funny how much you forget. Or at least, it's kind of funny how much I forget. Um, in a small amount of time. Okay. Characters that owed me favors. Everyone's wife still living. Did he remarry? 24? No, I don't think so. I don't think he remarried.
What's he fabbing on? The County of Alan's Dreda. Um. Anyway, let's get one of those Jews in court. Oh man, it looks like none of them want to come. Oh! They're all court physicians too. That's a little bit funny. So many court physicians here. At least half of them are court physicians, so they must be from the they must be created by the intrigue decision. I'm just looking for someone with really good stats. I don't think Karaite is a very good idea. I think straight up Jewish is what I want. Decent stat, good traits. I don't like that ambitious. Content would be perfect. I don't really want to use the search box because it bounces me around so much. Created by the intrigue decision, what does that mean? So, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go to my council for a sec. Here's my court physician, the Pope. We're going to fire him. Um, now under Intrigue, there's a little decision that pops up. It becomes available when you have no court physician that says Recruit Court Physician. So when I say Intrigue decision, I mean any decision that's on the Intrigue control panel. Um, now I don't think I can do this because I'm secluded with courtiers, right? Um, however, if I wasn't secluded with courtiers, I could look for a court physician. Of course, I don't want that. I'm just going to go back and I hopefully can rehire the Pope. Good. Um, so that's what I mean about created by entry decision. So sometimes when you do that, you can get um, like random religions, random cultures, or certain sets of... Uh, of set religion, set cultures, and one of them is an Ashkenazi Jew. Now I think I saw some patience and some kinds. This one's looking pretty good. Shrewd, content. Is she married? Of course she is. The Pope is your court physician. That's kind of funny. He's my apprentice too. I put him inside the. Uh, the Hermetic Society. And then we're out. It's up after that. Well, I don't want to take this guy. He's got the consumption. In fact, if I invite anyone that's not already secluded, we're going to have a bad time. So let's look at people that are secluded to prioritize them. Kill her husband, hey? I kind of want to kill that little kid that's the ruler of... Bulgaria right now. My plot power to kill this guy is only 72. My plot power to kill her is like 130-30. He's 60. He's got cancer. He may die. Let's mark her. Um, but we're going to look at the, the man that was just above her in the list. Because he was also secluded with courtiers. So. Doesn't like me very much. But... Will he come now? Oh, that would have been too easy, hey? We can buy a favor off him, though. And, uh... I mean, I guess we should start getting our troops together here. Jihad for Africa? Let's invite that guy to our court. Jihad for Africa, he says. We want Africa. 
So, when Iron Force demands, he pays 564. That's it? Oh, that's it? That is such a waste of my time. Oh, it's going to cost me more money than that to fight the war. Let's get my little Antioch troops into play. I love these guys. These three ships, I get so much use out of them. Okay, I don't really need them there. I don't really need them here either. Actually, I could use them there, so I'll send one here. We're going to send one here. Wait, am I making sure that... Okay, we got three ships now. One here, right? Okay. One here. One there. That's good. Um, let's raise the Varangian Guard. Let's get the Greek and Anatolian ships. Now, let's have a look at these guys for a second. I mean, I might bring them and stick them in Tunis, but I don't think we're going to be getting too much work out of those guys. I don't care about that. Don't care about that. That's what I wanted to hear. That's not... Oh, look at that! This is the one that we were watching. Can I invite her to court? No, she says. False religion. Can I send her a gift? Buy a favor offer? Okay, so he's in my court now. We got one. Call that one. We're going to mark him. Yeah, I think, I think I still get up here to uh, the Adriatic Sea before he gets down to Dyrrhachian. Alright, let's invite you to court. Oh, come on! Close relative with the King of Sicily? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I guess, uh... She sure got me. Well, we have the one Jew anyway. Let's find our son. Let's assign him to the Jew. There we are. And now we should be able to change his focus to faith. And uh, that's our plan. Ta-da! What about these kids? I don't think we need to go full generation. This guy we're going to educate to be Jewish as well. Turn that stuff off. What's our income right now? It's not very good. Time for some free money. Okay. <laughs> he couldn't pay it anyway.
by 70. That's interesting. I didn't realize that I had relatives in Greece. Thanks for the income. Duke of Antioch, my direct vassal, will skip him. The Count of Yaprin, sure. Laryngia, yeah, he's below Germany. Can't afford to pay himself off though. We got Kuma here. Westmore, oh my god, look at this guy. 2302, 81% chance, there's a 1 to 5% chance that we get a lot of money here. Not this time, maybe next time. Galloway, beauty. Dunbar. Um... My bet is he dies in prison. If he even makes it to prison. Oh crap! He was my direct vassal. Oh! Not what I wanted to deal with right now. Damn it. First screw up of the stream. I mess up so much anyway. Like. I guess it's not a big deal. I should retell this dream. Come watch me screw stuff up. There we go. <laughs> I guess as long as I think it's funny. Dalmatia. He can't afford to buy himself out either, but we'll get some here. You know, I remember sometimes yesterday, it seems like I was on a roll, like I was imprisoning everybody. Now it seems I'm imprisoning like 50-50. We got a bishop, but he's poor. A patrician. Let's add those guys on. So that's like 800 more gold. Where are they all walking to? I have two holdings down here in uh, Lemedia, which is what I want to grab Algier. I think maybe that's my next holy war right here, just to clean this up so I don't have to worry about the Arabians flanking me all the time. Although unfortunately, um, wait, that's Algier. What's, what's this one? Oh, is this all Algier? Well, that's a no brainer then. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is my next Holy War, I think. Just to clean it up. I just want it to be tidy, right? Because I'm having this problem where the Arabians keep popping in. I think this is one here. Okay, yeah. And then this is another one. Sure. Man, the Arabians own all of this stuff. They've been busy down here. They ate all this up. But the Romans are coming back, man. The Romans are coming back.
February 23rd, February 11th. Yeah, so the ships win. Saw that one coming a mile away, right? 17k ships there. Plus 9 here. I mean, do I want to fight this first or do I want to fight in here? Let's see what our supply limits are. 18, 13, 13, 13, 18, 18, 18, 18 they're 22. Okay. So he would not have a very good time there with all of these troops. Mind you, some of them we wanted to put just down here. Um, my retinues. So are you AFK for a minute? You're back now? Well, welcome back. I just renamed the screen Watch Me Make Dumb Mistakes. I almost want to give this up. Like, it's two counties, but the guy's a king? How does that make any sense that he's the king of Turkestan? He's got two counties. I mean, I guess he did okay, right? Oh, sure. Kill that little kid. What did you do? Um, that second woman, what's her name? Anna. I paid her for a favor, right? And then she ended up being a close relative of her liege, so I can't invite her. That was the first thing I did. The second thing was, when I was going through trying to get free money, I accidentally tried to imprison um, this duke up here, right? So now he's in revolt in the middle of me defending against a holy war. Friggin' awesome, right? Which also means that probably these guys are gonna invade him a little bit, you know? It's kind of interesting that Lithuania is actually chewing up the nomads, right? Like, he's had nowhere to go but this way. He's grabbed everything that he can grab, pretty much. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking about holy going for Algier right after this war is over. Um, just so that I don't have to worry about nonsense over here. And then pick up this one and this one. Of course, that does interfere with our let's be a Jew and create the Kingdom of Israel. Oop. Maybe I'm going to be dead already. Oh, perfect. I was wondering why I couldn't slide her under anybody else. I guess that's why. So that helps my vassal limit a little bit. Wait, is she under... No, she's under Italy. Okay. That's weird. Um, these are my small retinues. We're going to leave them down here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Separated wars here. Seek medical treatment? Yeah, I thought so. Let's see if it can give us a little bonus. So, 14k. I want to get... Ah, 13.5, that's fine. So, I'm just going to put them here and march them east. As far as possible. Fighting as much as we can fight. Let's pause. As long as you hold Jerusalem, the jihads are usually fairly frequent. Well, they won't be any more frequent than the truce period, so I guess I can exp And I think... I think there's a cooldown of 30 years on Great Holy Wars. So... Is he just going to walk into it? Keep walking into it. Come on, buddy. Okay, so I got food poisoning. Sure. Still consumption raging over there. Although we did finish building... Um, Damn it. 
Okay, that's good. Yeah, let's walk this way. I guess I don't need to leave these guys here. I can leave them on Jerba. Oh, and while we're at it, let's get Greece and France and Saxony at least. In on the action, hey? Uh, that's too much for everybody. We'll put Greece there. Saxony here. Africa is kind of small. I think I need to raise more troops. Uh, France, can you give me some ships, please? Okay, we got a big fight coming in, I think. No, he's backing off. My wife, what on earth was she thinking? She did the right thing. See, here's a chance to make my wife like me. Why the hell wouldn't I take that? I lost my food poisoning. I need to slow it down a little bit. 680, that's fine. Let's get these guys over here. Make sure that I got the best commanders possible for these armies. I do have a command the center. He is secluded in court. Oh no. Consumption still raging. Okay, but we can hire a couple of commanders that'll be new. Let's get this guy for sieging. Uh, this one sucks. This guy, eh, strong and brawny, and sh or brawny and shrewd anyway, but no good commander traits. He's awful. Hmm, not seeing a lot there. Let's go to the world at large and just see what we can get for free. A flanker, which he's a woman. Let's flip that to men. Coward. Coward, shy, brave and patient, short. Scottish to boot, that's a real nice touch. Um, I see a patient, but he's craven. I tend to prioritize patient. Is having female commanders a bad thing? No, it's not. Um, I just don't have the tolerance tech right now to increase the status of women. So I can't give them commanders 
or commander ranks. I just can't give them the position right now. Um, there are certain religions and cultures that accelerate your um, status of women, which is like legal, right? Um, so let's see. I need to have. Yeah, I need to have full status of women to allow female commanders. So, the religions are Cathar, which is a Catholic heresy. Um, the cultures are Basque, which probably doesn't exist anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. In fact, I think I just turned this guy off of being Basque, didn't I? Maybe his brother still is, yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's not Basque? It says no special features. What else am I thinking of? I think it is Basque. It says no special features, but I think it's kidding. Uh, I've got a whole wiki page about this. Um, cultures. Powerful cultures. Okay, so... Do, do, do. It doesn't say. That's funny. Anyway, I know where we can look it up. Right here, under inheritance for absolute cognatic. Yeah, it is Basque. Look at that. So it says, um, in order to set absolute cognatic, one of these must be true. The holder must have either Basque culture, Cathar religion, or Messalian religion. It looks like I missed one. Messalian is a Nestorian heresy. There is actually a Messalian island right now on this map down here. This is Messalian. A Nestorian heresy. Um, and what else are we missing? Uh, or one of these must be true. Um, the Roman Empire, for my primary title, has full status of women. So you can either either be Basque, Cathar, or Messalian, or have full status of women, nothing in between. So let's just let those commanders come in. I'm going to put that Duke. Wait, where is he? I made him a commander, didn't I? Didn't I make that guy a commander right away? He's leading troops of his own. Now he's imprisoned? By who? By this guy in the revolt? Okay, so I couldn't assign him because he was in battle. So it looks like uh, he's not going to be a very good commander. He got auto-declined anyway. Let's wait till the other guys come in. We should be fine, I think. Let's put this badass in charge of the center. This guy on the flank for now, and this guy on the flank for now. Patient and brave, appoint you a commander, but he has less traits than these guys. This guy's brave. This guy is patient, brave, and light foot. The light foot doesn't matter. Because there are no light foot in this army right now. Oh, they just siege me back? Motherfuckers. No, I'm gonna i I'm gonna pop that back. 
All I catch is this little 15. That sucks. Well, they're all moving east, it looks like. There's a lot of people there. Do you think you can beat that 28k stack with your 14? Not down here. But uh, he's chasing off anyway. supply limit here is 18. I should switch these two armies. What I'm gonna do is uh is bait them and then I use my boats to juke the attrition. Oh yeah, burn that guy. Burn him up. That's too bad because I took him in. He's not my spy master, is he? No, he's not my spy master. I took him in. I remember remarking like, oh, he's a genius. He's got a really good heraldry. Well, we're getting highly suspicious on this guy now. We're 18 down here. I don't know if I should drag these guys over or not. Wait, were these both? Oh, this had retinues in it as well. Okay. Just don't burn the guy with the claim on Norway. No kidding, right? This is going to be good. We're going to get a lot of war score off this, I hope. Yeah, let's kind of start marching these guys back. Just in case. See you later. Is that occupation for him? No. Wait, yes it is. Look at that. God damn it. It's okay, we're fine. So we got 21 coming into my 14. We got the 13 for backup. I'm not sure he has vision here. Oh yeah, of course he does. So they arrive on the 4th of January, it looks like. I'm not grouping them. Did he turn around? No, no. One guy did, but he's only 1265. Everyone else is still on track. Aw, oh, jeez. This was supposed to pause, and I wasn't paying attention. Drives me nuts when settings don't get saved between games. Like, if I set something, it should be that way all the way, all the time.
we're already winning and we just got reinforced. No, the cats are not to blame. Let's uh, do another little sift of all the randoms everywhere in the world that are plotting. All right, so let's just imprison this guy, see what happens. We get him, he's poor, but we might uh, we might get something onto him later. We got Thrace here. At least he can afford to pay his own ransom. Antioch is my direct vassal. The Earl of Strimmon. The Duke of Wessex. Okay. The Duke of Connaught. Poor. Okay, but he flees. That's fine. Dunbar again. That's funny. Didn't I just do you? I guess he really wants uh, the fabricator claim on whatever that thing he was fabricating a claim on. Oh, right. I already tried to arrest that guy and we failed miserably. Spoleto, poor. Damn it. The court of King who? Oh, Sweden. Seventeen hundred gold. A ninety-eight percent chance. God damn it! Every time I start getting excited, huh? It ends up that they're really easy in prison. So this is a three out of ten chance. He flees. Too far away to manipulate. Tough luck. This is a pretty sweet helmet he's got on. This guy too, same helmet. Is it a German thing? Must be a German thing. A bishop, but he's pretty much broke. All right, how much is that? 586. Oh my god, I hope they just keep pouring in. You died of depression? Why was I even watching you? They're gonna keep walking in, they are walking in. Aw, oh, couldn't be any better than this. Just keep pouring in, Muslims. Pause for a sec. What's this? Acquire ingredients? Send my son into hiding. Children lack childhood focus. Um. Did my gates open? My gates opened. How the hell did that happen? It just happened. What in the world? I 
I didn't open them. Well, that's retarded. So my dynasty is at risk of getting the consumption now. Because of some fucking bug, I don't know. I'm gonna turn these guys around. Oh, we broke in the center? Maybe I need them after all. Arrive to loot Ghent, hey? Um, I can use Frisia. Let's reorganize this just a little bit. I can't believe that was only 6.9 war score. <sighs> okay, so we can turn them around. Let's group this and split it in half. Put half on these boats. The other half, um... Oh, we got a big pile of people here. I'm gonna drop them down here. Oh, that's nice. That's really gonna help me out, actually. The Shiltron here. I mean, I could build another one. I'm gonna hold off, though. I'm really, I'm really curious as to why it is that uh, my gates opened, because I did not open them. I mean, I guess while they're open, though, we might as well. Yeah, something triggered it, that's for sure. Okay, I need this 11k stack here to be working. Same with this 8k here. Let me see, what have I got? I've got Brave. I've got Shrewd. I think this might make me brawny. It might also make me sick. I'm just gonna say no, forget it.
I want to know if I can see he's trying to kill my son. Or I'm just getting falsehoods there because of uh, the paranoia. I don't see anything popping up to kill my son. Oh my god, seriously? This game screwed me over. I'm triggered a little bit. Yeah, that's not appropriate. <sighs> Alright, let's brew her a potion. Looks like they're coming back in for round two. Now I've got consumption. Local tax modifier, minus 100%. Where the hell are these guys walking? Are they going the long way around? It sure looks like it. I'm so friggin' triggered right now. Is this Castillo we're doing? I think it is. He's the one that's six. lead the center both of these are pretty much well I mean patient and brave is good I can't argue with that but the uh, the light troops doesn't really help me Gonna want to stop the clock on the 14th. This is my marshal. God damn it. The mayor of Venice. 
Oh, why don't we just put this guy in charge? He's a coward. We almost lost there. Wow, this is the Varangians? They've been decimated. And I have got consumption. Can I shut these friggin' gates yet? Leptis Magna, but is that everyone? Yeah, it looks like it's everyone. So what I want to do is keep as much of my retinue as I can right here with the correct Okay, just double checking the commanders I need more. I'm, f I'm feeling like I need more. Who haven't I called in? Germany? Frisia? England, Wales, and Italy? I haven't called them either. Of course, they doesn't have ships. I don't know why I thought that he would have ships. Oh, these guys are supposed to be working. Wait, are these also retinues? No, they're just levies, it looks like. Shit. You know what? Majesty, finally. I can't change it in a civil war. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Yes, that's right. Um, your vassals won't complain that I'm fighting a holy war. They won't mind in the least little bit. He's still going right into it.
Okay, so we came Jewish like he's supposed to. We still got the consumption. Okay, so we're crushing them right now. <laughs> this is going to make me laugh a little bit. This will cheer me up. I can't, like, we killed 21k troops, only worth 8% war score. We're going to leave these 18 behind. These guys, these guys, we're going to duck off. Didn't you want to kill those raiders in the Netherlands? Yeah, we're going to. They're going to die. Don't worry about that. We're going to move these guys down one more. Put them back in Biskra, I guess. I wonder what the chances are I could form alliance and call them to my war. You see, watch. Oh yeah, become Scottish. For sure become Scottish. See, we're losing. But then the big guns come in right behind. Now, hold on a sec. I need to Oh shoot, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have grouped these. Let's make a new unit. What's this? Queen Felicia of what? Is Holland Queen Felicia? Queen Nuzia? Who's Queen Felicia? Queen Felicia is England. Okay. I want Queen Nunzia. Everything that belongs to Queen Nunzia, please. Yeah. Let's dismiss those. And these ships, Queen Nunzia, dismiss those. Okay, this guy also needs to become Jewish. This guy needs it more than the last guy here. Oh yeah, the thing about Holy Wars is that all of his vassals join the Holy War directly. So we're not just fighting the Arabian Empire and their levies, right? We're fighting the Arabian Empire and their levies and all of their vassals and all of their vassals' levies. So they're, it's, it's quite a big bunch. Okay. Did I seclude again? How much longer do I have abandoned the commoners for? Hmm. <laughs> you gotta love it when you're good looking, man. When you're good looking, even when you're bad looking, people like you. Uh, 
uh, abandoned the commoners until oh, February 11, 1955. Well, I mean, the consumption is disappearing now. Maybe it almost doesn't even matter. God damn it. That's you, Frizia. That's why you're here. We're fighting here in Leptis Magna. No child tells me what to do. <sighs> I need a Jew. This is a great one. Is she married? No. I like that she's a genius and that she's content. The gluttonous, not so much. God damn it. I just looked. How can you be a clo- Oh, cause it's his mother. I checked that she was lowborn. I thought there's no way because she's lowborn. Oh. All right, let's have a little more sip of this tea here. And just accept that my impatience is making me make mistakes. Let's look for a different Jew. This guy is shrewd. Maybe I should get the patient trait too. <laughs> I do value it pretty highly. I like this one, but he's the Grand Vizier, so I don't think I can pull him with a favor. There's a quick here, but he's a steward. Court physicians, I think I can pull. I think I can pull court physicians, but I don't think I can pull people that are in the council or our regents. Patient, brave, greedy, erudite. These are all pretty decent traits. Greedy is not bad. It's not awesome. Well, we're about to find out if we can pull. Court physicians. The Holy War is about to end though. There, it's over.
Oh, I didn't even get to attack him. He refuses to pay. Were they all released? Shit. Alright, can we pull court physicians? Yes, we can. So that's good to know. In honor of the Empire's recent victory, it would be appropriate to hold a triumph in the capital for the heroic soldiers who fought in the campaign. Such an arrangement will be expensive, but the people expect nothing less. Did we win the Holy War? Yes, we won it. Once I started sieging this stuff down, um, he couldn't keep up with the occupation score. I kept winning battles, and even though they're only worth like 4 and 5%, um, like that stuff tends to add up. He started losing troops. In fact, I'm hoping if we check his count, yeah, he's down to 13k right now. Am I still at peace with this guy? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Anyway, we can do glorious triumph in the Hippodrome, a brief ovation, no time for such nonsense. 250 for 75 prestige? Nah, man. No time for that. Let's group all of this. No retinues, no special events. Okay. So it got rid of the mercs for me. Let's load these guys back onto the boats. We're going to keep these boats for a minute. Because I need to go deal with this. All right, so there's the Jew I was waiting for. Um, let's horoscope her before we make a choice there. This guy, we're going to assign him to the Jew. And we're gonna go Faith. How's that uh, consumption going? I'll say so it's gone. Consumption's gone, finally. I hope none of my kids ended up still sick with it. Some of them are, but hopefully things are gonna be okay. Uh, of course my wife has it. Luckily it's mild. My son Castillo has become Jewish. That's very good. Okay, so this says battlefield. And let's try and find her a guardian here. It's going to match her traits very well. So the intro trait for willful is proud. But I think that ambitious, brave, and stubborn are all positive traits. So I don't care what Willful turns into. Um, diligent is the interrupt trait for Fussy. Sometimes it can become patient or diligent. So let's prioritize diligent. Um, for affectionate, and this is where I got to bring up my education bookmark again. The interrupt trait for affectionate is charitable. So with charitable, I guess you're more likely to get charitable or kind. So we're looking for someone who's diligent and charitable. Um, oh look, we got a nice crazy genius here who's both of those things. Settled. What have I still got raised? This army? 
sure. Those boats, this army, perfect. Uh, now I'm going to upgrade my Sheltron again. Is that what I want to do? Yes, it is. Upgrade my Sheltron. Hold a grand debate? Sure, we can do that. Make sure my chat's turned back on. Okay. Uh, my hospital. We can build some stuff here. Ooh, wait. No, no. I was about to say, let's, let's change our laws, but uh, we don't need to do that. So I'm going to start with the medical academy. We're going to go pharmacology thereafter. This is the son that they're trying to kill, hey? He may die anyway. Although it kind of sucks that he ends up being Greek. If we end up playing as this guy for even a second, we end up losing. Can I just make him a monk or something? Send him into hiding forever? Now, we killed the woman in charge of Bulgaria, so we can actually declare war on her for the claim on this duchy. Looks like there's a Lithuanian revolt too. What's the CV? For independence. I lose Gregarious, that sucks. Um, let's just say the secrets of the world. My random courtier gets siege, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, sure. Did you hear that? I heard that. King Hawker of Sweden died under suspicious circumstances. Well, who's the king of Sweden now? This guy, hey? I need to get up on Norway real quick. I really want to get into Norway. Summoning the Divine! Where's my big holes? Looks like Intrigue is my worst, so let's try and get some Intrigue. My scar is fixed. Thank goodness he wasn't a Jew. Nice. So the divine being has my confidence. I gain plus three intrigue. Wipe them up to the last man. We need to get her hitched. So we got a 43 year old strong Scottish nobody. I'm not sure what these feelings are. Uh oh. Alright, let's get you married to my daughter.
I lost my Chancellor. Now I got a Loyalist here that we could make. What are his claims? This is the Poland-Lithuania guy. Now I'm not planning to kill anybody right now. I don't have any plots. So let's check Lithuania. And what about him? Forty-three living members in this family. We could spend years assassinating all of them. Forty-six percent here. Hundred sixty-six percent there. I should actually, instead of just going after the Holy War for one of them, who are claimants on this title? Uh, no one who's willing to come to court anyway. Not even sure why you're here. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Uh, you need a curb stomp there before you can change your realm laws. Yeah, EKG. Sorry that I missed that five minutes ago, but you're right. What kingdom is this supposed to be under anyway? Some under Alania, some under Georgia, hey? He died of cancer. children they do do they have children no they don't are they even in my court no they're not <laughs> good do it already burning people left right and center hey Am I normal sieging? Oh crap. Well, it's almost done anyway. Okay. This is the second good son. I'm not. Well, I know why I legitimized him, because he was attractive. This guy healed. He didn't get consumption, so we got that going for us. Freo, hey? Whenever I see Freo now, I get to thinking... Satanist? Or what?
Yeah, news for you, buddy. I can fight my vassal. You can't fight my vassal. Get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, burner. Highly suspicious. Let's get these few. Saxony never has enough ships. I think this war score should win us the battle. Or win us the war, I mean. Yeah. So we can get both of these guys back onto these ships. Let's end this. 953. Three years. Wasted. Wait, none of your holdings are held by who? What are your holdings are being held? I control everything. What are the holdings you got? Down here it looks like. Okay, that's fine. Uh oh. Let's send him enough money to ransom himself out. Oh, beauty. Now, hold on a second. That's how we'll do it. Okay. Still rocking a pretty terrible income right now. Let's go through here and not screw anything up this time. Antioch, no, he's my direct vassal. We got uh, Duchess Bride of Lothian, yeah, you're good to go. The Earl of Hereford. Earl of Westfriedland. Got a sweet mustache and beard going on, that guy. Senge. Teviotdale. All on a roll now. Oh, of course we missed one. The second I say something, that's how you know I'm going to miss imprisoning someone, right? 
the second that I say something. Wiltshire again. He's gone. He's married. All right. Champagne. Now we got a mayor with 1K, 70% chance. Man. When I'm unlucky, I'm lucky. When I'm lucky, and on, I'm unlucky. It's the way it goes. Okay, that was everyone. I'm gonna go to the top of this list again. We're gonna look. She's worth 10. Her husband will ransom her. Oh, would you look at this? Who's Quartzy in this guy? Can I buy a favor off him? Almost certainly not, right? Because I tried to imprison him three times, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, her husband will pay for her. He's just an idiot. But I can't imprison him, he's not even in my realm. <sighs> hey, speed bub time. Not even. Year 1000, your domain is vast, wealth extraordinary, and you're only XX years old. Any tips for mass Catholic expansion? Um, <clears throat> yeah, if you can hit, get an empire title, it's very easy to expand very quickly as a Catholic. Um, that is to say, once you're able to vassalize the Pope, you get free claim on any Catholic territory whatsoever. Um, what could you do if you weren't an empire? All right, well, you could go Fraticelli. It's a Catholic heresy. And when you create, if you can create a religious head, he has a Duke level title rather than the Pope who has a King level title. It does open you up um, to all kinds of nonsense from Catholics you do have free Holy War CB on all Catholics. Um, but they have free Holy War CB on you. Uh, as well, um, the Pope will also call Crusades on your... on Well, probably to get Rome back first. I think that's weighted pretty highly. Uh... And I think that the Fraticelli Pope only gives you... I think he operates the same way as the regular Pope, but it only works on other Fraticellis. So that may actually not be a very good suggestion at all. Um, there is the regular sort of rinse and repeat strategy whereby you look for someone with a claim on territory that you want and you land them somewhere in your territory then you press their claim you plot to revoke their land um, and then you rinse and repeat and then you look for someone else you can do that to um, what else could you do for equal level titles marrying for inheritance is probably your best bet um, that's really the point that i'm at I love this heraldry right here, man. 
that's looking really cool. But we're going to lock her up and throw away the key just because of her big fat chin. Let's throw her in the oubliette. Ah, uh, this guy's way out of my realm, right? He's married. So I can't force him back. Okay. What about his son? Is he plotting anything? Not as far as I know. I'm trying to think what else you can do as a Catholic to expand really fast. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just whatever empire you're in, whatever empire you're in, rinse and repeat, like with the landing and revoking, um, the landing of claimants and then the revoking of their territory, so that until you can get enough uh, land in your de jure empire that you can get your empire title um, and then create an anti-pope and press his claim on the throne or I shouldn't say on the throne on the papacy you say you own about two kingdoms worth of land beneath the Carlin King around year 800 you're about to go independent and take half his land with you but fabricating claims is starting to look like 300 county and 600 Dutch and that's not viable anymore fabricating claims is is a fool's game um, it, it's only a good idea in the very beginning of the of the game where the costs are very low because as you say it gets very expensive before you go and declare independence though I assume that you're a duke right now and you own about two kingdoms worth of land what's stopping you from fabricating a claim on the kingdom title right um, let me finish what I'm doing I'm gonna save and load into another game and I'll show you what I'm talking about uh, I'll play I'll give you an example I'll play like 30 45 minutes 